Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Since I have a little time before my other job, because I have many jobs, I tell you guys that constantly because I never stop working. Um, I figured, let me do like an introductory video, kind of like meet your straw man because I've been trying to get newbies on board about being self-aware so I can always refer them to this video people you know people I come into passing with I mean nothing too serious you don't want to drop like huge truth bombs on people it's just too much right it's okay and you know I kind of do it in baby steps like I'll bring up the movie Wizard of Oz you know kind of like the metaphor that we are all Dorothy in that plot, right? And you have the different characters and the straw man, like a shadow, like how the movie Us, how the, um, the shadows came after the living people. So it's like natural person versus legal person. People don't even understand that quick concept. But for me, to kind of help them wake up a little bit, I, um, you know, I'll YouTube some things, I'll show them, like, stuff like this, because, you know, images are very helpful, people are very visual, so, um, anytime I have, like, stuff that could help, I'm so grateful my ink finally came in. People don't realize the expenses of running a home business, that's why, um, you know, donations are always appreciated. I always give templates too, you know what I'm saying? A great lecture. I try to do a lot of educational stuff. I do a lot of research. And although I love um, helping people in the private, I do, you know, public, uh, you know, for charity. This is to me a labor, a labor of love. So, you know, to kind of get people at least their feet wet and to give you some tangible steps too. Sometimes I'm just going to give you life lessons, whatever, right? So anytime you support this channel, I had some people do that. I don't always put my PayPal. I don't have a cash app right now. But um, my email for PayPal, um, I'll put it down below. It's the same email I use for everything, dash 7 at protonmail.com. And uh, anytime you're watching your favorite, you know, YouTuber, just know that it all goes back to the production of the content. Like, I set up Dia Dash as an actual business. People are kind of scared to go down the business road, and it's sad because everything is so-called commerce. So learning commercial law, not being a scaredy cat, um, just realizing, like, what are certain groups doing? Did you know the Amish don't even pay insurance? Isn't that crazy, guys? I had a customer come in yesterday, and they were saying they work for the insurance companies and stuff, and it was just making me think how, like, <clears throat> it was making me think of that story in the book of Jasher, you know, almost like that death tax, and it's like you really can't, insure life and stuff like that and how it is like one big you know financial scheme so um you know so many things come up and stuff so it's like people they um get into the system they don't know how to you know move in the system but we do commerce every day even if you're a youtuber and you're taking payments online that's commerce even if you're donating to a YouTuber that's commerce. You go to your local store, you get yourself a coffee. So like I'm going into to try to help also because it's great to like expose certain things but you know you want to kind of narrow in on like things that you can do and make the corporations accountable especially since they're reaping so many profits and not paying the taxes on the profits and not understanding like how certain groups are not paying exorbitant taxes and things like that and how they get you know what I mean pretty much like they're doing well you know because they got certain education really young a lot of these groups homeschooled their children it wasn't by accident but they'll throw the majority of us where? In public schools to totally waste our time, you know? So it's crazy. So the birth certificate is a bond. I can read you the definition of all birth certificates. And you'll also, it's all like, you know, maritime talk, the Holy See, the Papacy kind of thing. Um, 
when you go into history, you see how it's, you know, intertwines and how they incorporated common law and um, brought in the different private jurisdictions and stuff. So, you know, they kind of merge common law with admiralty law, things like that. So, even in their terms, you get a lot of words with the word ship in it also. And birth, you know, people should know that's also a maritime or admiralty term. Because it's also spelled B-E-R-T-H. And, you know, basically, which is like a bill of lading, which truckers actually use themselves too. And stock certificates are indeed certificates of title. All include stock on bank note numbers referring to a bond pending a matured date. A lot of people already um, showed that you can go on Treasury Direct, put in some of these numbers, and you're going to see some things come up. So Black's Law Dictionary 2nd Edition defines Certificate of Title as... This document certifies ownership of real property or a vehicle. An authorized agency will capture a description of the property and the liens on it on the issued certificate. A certificate of title is vastly different from the word entitled, meaning to give a right or title to one who has a right to property in ordination as a minister in ecclesiastical law. That's Black's Law Dictionary, second edition. A lien is always displayed on a certificate of title and never to one who possesses entitlement to a title. This is why U.S. citizens continue to pay property taxes on houses and vehicles regardless of a settled mortgage or vehicle sales contract until the property aka effects is registered in trust with the local ruling government taxes are due annually how nice as long as a certificate of title for an automobile exists in the all capital letter name then the dmv remains the lien holder the same applies to a real property having a satisfaction of mortgage with a grant deed not recorded in a trust, which has a settler, trustee, and beneficiary. So learning trust law is key. A lot of people talk about setting up trust. That's great. I have paperwork on that if you need that. You need templates. You need a security agreement, things like that. And they say... You know, um, when you talk about placing a lien on the estate because you are the first lien holder with your name on all the documents that you'd want to do it in a trust um, angle or perspective. Hopefully I'm not freezing. I always got to toggle back and forth because this lovely thing gives me a hard time. So until the house is registered in an express trust, guys, Property taxes are due annually because some people, you know, are in a tax-free tax zone kind of thing. The beginning process, you know, comes by claiming one's title to remove them from being lost at sea in the law of admiralty. That rhymes, huh? One must proceed with the authenticating process of the birth, B-E-R-T-A certificate, backed by the Sesta K V trust estate assets. Because a lot of people are like, oh, you shouldn't authenticate. You know, that's what I'm saying. There are sources who say, you know, you want to claim your interest kind of thing. So always vet your different sources and always, you know, look up everything. So, um, you know, so there's different steps and um, the purpose of authentication can be found in Title 28 judiciary and judicial procedure chapter 115 evidence or documentary evidence which is important because when you correct the record when you put your notice you know your gentleman's notice your lady's notice kind of thing 
then um, you know you're you're correcting what's there. You're showing that you're not a minor anymore, as people know. You know they um, declassify you or they reduce your status to stay a minor, even when you're well past being adult years, and so that can limit your capacity. And every time you retain a lawyer or you sign certain documents, guys, you're giving over your power of attorney. And people don't realize you're giving your credit away all over the place because they're borrowing from the people the credit. So it's really hard to encapsulate it with certain people. So I like to do certain steps. I'm going to show you how to order certain forms. Um, the W-8 Ben is really important too. That's something you can print out if it's something that you need someone to send to you. I can send to you. These I don't think you have to order online. Um, you can just print those out, but if you need a guide how to fill that out, that helps too with um, your employers. If Because it's um, quite alright to flex your rights and, you know, correct your status. And still have, um, you know, still earn a living until you're like, you know, solo dolo kind of thing all the way. Because you need to start somewhere, you know what I mean? So it's totally okay, but... You know, you can still correct your status and people just need to know more about what a U.S. citizen really is and how it's not being a so-called national or a natural person or, you know, a state national. Because if you are from Florida, you're a native to Florida. You know, you know, if you were born there, you would be a Floridian. You know, if you, it was California, you'd be a Californian. You know, because each state is a different country per the law. So, you know, when we use these other terms, it can get confusing. And everybody thinks, oh, I just see the U.S. and the U.S. citizen. Well, you can look at it as a creation of the, what? The United States Corporation in D.C. So, are you getting your inalienable rights that way? That was guaranteed by the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. You know what I mean? Or is it you know, a counterfeit, you know, um, subpar version. So when you are born, your parents register you with the government as a corporation. I was trying to tell people your name is already a business, how they set it up. That's why you have that number. By receiving and signing a birth certificate. In a few years, your corporation will receive a taxpayer ID number called a social security number. This is so you can be used as collateral because when you get reduced to a corporation, you basically become property, okay? And that's why they have your mom sign as an informant and this is basically the cargo being delivered from the waters of the birth canal. So, you know, metaphorical, but I mean, the more you read and the more you understand, it's it's right it's been in our face the whole time <clears throat> so this is so you can be used as collateral for the government to acquire debt that's right you and your labor time and energy is what backs up the national debt you are stock fine did you know so to get started, this book is really great if you're new. I'm actually going to buy a few of these. I like referring to different ones. I mean, the books are very inexpensive. People will spend big bucks on video games, etc., etc. Like the craziest stuff, right? But like, um, you know, investing in yourself can come in many forms. I had to pay for certain seminars. I had to pay for certain information, including books, PDFs, and I had to have the drive to learn. I mean, it has to start there with the willingness to really want to learn this stuff, you know, or you won't have the patience. You'll burn out quick. It'll be super obvious. But this is a great one, too. I'm actually um, looking at this one for myself. Be the one to execute your trust in that capacity. You know, come in and take control of it remove the fiduciary especially if they're not doing what they got to do or come in and demand they do their fiduciary duties and uphold and protect your natural consumer rights because time and time again 
They are being violated. This is a great little booklet, too. Reminds me of the little light that I just ordered. It's gonna be so cute, guys. It's gonna be an illuminated cherry blossom lamp. It's gonna be the cutest. I wanna get a couple of those, like a palm tree one. I thought that would be pretty nice in the background. We'll see how it goes. It's gonna take a while to get here. A lot of these packages are getting delayed, of course. Um, so give yourself credit. Money doesn't grow on um, trees. So this book honors the 77th anniversary of House Joint Resolution 192. You can find that also at Public Law 73-10 of June 5th, 1933, which Congress passed to suspend the gold standard and abrogate the gold clause of our national constitution. Since then, no one in America has been able to lawfully pay a debt. Read this book at your own risk. No money exists to pay debt. I know it's really hard for people to understand that concept because when you try to tell people that, that what they're using is a debt note and that actually in the system everything is so upside down that when you see like a red, I'll have to like um, bring it up, but if you look up in like financial forums, they'll talk about how when you see a red number, you know how you'll see like a negative amount in your account? Um, that's actually credit that the bank own, um, owes you because debt in their system is viewed as a positive number in black. So anytime you see a positive number, that's the amount of debt and you can't cancel a debt with the debt. So credit is actually depicted as a negative number. And if you remember math in school, you know, you need the negative and the positive to um, zero out the books and balance the ledger. Which, you know, that's what we're trying to do because the Bible's all about the Most High loves equal weights and measures. And the system is so out of whack. That's why the national debt is so high. People knew, you know, who it was due to, you know, they would be trying to discharge a lot more stuff too. So, money, no money, you know, real money as like, you know, gold, silver, and even copper. If you look that up, that used to be considered real money. I mean, a lot of different things. Seashells, beads, whatever. Depending on the culture, guys, um, many different things. It was just like a form, um, <clears throat> a medium of exchange kind of thing. So no money exists to pay debt. All demands for payment are demands for money. Since no money exists, all you have is your signature. I've been trying to tell people your signature has power. And your exemption number. wonder what that is. Is that the SS? To pay a debt. Fiat Federal Reserve notes do not pay debts. Federal Reserve notes only discharge debts. By using Federal Reserve notes, a debt is not paid. It is simply transferred to someone else not paid. It's basically all that's happened. You know, some people have put, um, you know, redeem for lawful money on some of their checks too. Pay in full. You can, you know, with a lot of wording and the different laws. So it is very powerful because you're using commercial law to find the remedy you need in, you know, real-time situations, you know? And, because, like, the Wizard of Oz will have, like, that um, Emerald City. And a lot of people say that the real Secretary of the Treasury <clears throat> is in Puerto Rico. That's a whole other thing, too. They're all going to Emerald City. Is there going to be a picture? Do I have to... Emerald City. And it's funny because when you go to the post office in my area, they have a picture. I wasn't trying to open that. They have a picture of the Wizard of Oz, guys, behind the counter. I thought that was insane. I'm like, that is so um, esoteric, right? File folders. I had so many topics I wanted to go into, but we're just going to show a little bit 
of like how to order certain forms it's important to save your receipts we'll have to go into it guys what did i go away what happened what happened here guys i guess the camera just stopped working all of a sudden that's how it be so that's totally fine i don't want to uh, mess that up because we're still recording so I'm going to show you quick then while I have your attention. You go to irs.gov. You see here I'm going to go through a walkthrough with you. Because when you save your receipts it's important to, to get some of your credit back because um, a lot of these corporations are the recipient of the funds. Um, everywhere you go it's a commercial transaction. So a lot of people don't even realize that um, they could you know, report a lot of this stuff. It's our duty to report, you know, just look at the IRS as a withholding agency. That's so weird how it did that, how it's a withholding agency. And so um, when you um, use it for what it was intended for, it's not going to be, you know, so intimidating. But here it's totally free. Um, you can even get the OIDs and all of that stuff too. See the OID, the interest. Um, when I was first coming into it, guys, it was crazy. There were people actually charging for the tax forms. That is illegal and that is unnecessary. They're totally free. If you need the templates, how to fill them out for your pertinent situations, and um, you need templates like, you know, security agreement, things like that, um, you know, you just hit me up, ask me um, what it is that you need, you know. Um, I do have the templates I was going into for the OIDs and I know um, you know many people who got many many different successes with that and uh, the different processes and also with the 1099 miscellaneous okay so right now I need to order some I'm going to use my Dia Dash address just to show you how easy it is I think the max is like 20 so I'm going to do just 20 um, well that's instructions we don't need the instructions is that what that is we want the actual form. So I just want the instructions. That's fine. We'll get one of each of those. Let's see what else is on the menu. These are just instructions. We want the actual forms. And you can see to the left all the different forms. I mean, this thing is quite extensive. So this is the current one. So I'll get a couple of those. I'll get like 10 non-employee compensation I heard these are very useful too because there's a lot of um, different um, forms and expenses people you know it'll actually list it too guys in the instructions what's considered what you receive that's non-employee compensation what you pay out that's considered that we the people need to actually start reporting this stuff and not be so, you know, don't be so scared. Wow, this thing is so funny. Not be so scared to report this at times because that's the only way you can get your credit because everything's a tax issue. I think it was Patrick Devine who called tax like an acronym for transfer of assets exchange, something like that. And when you assess the tax, that's when you get the credit. I hope the audio is still working on this. This gets really trippy at times, so I'm going to hurry up and wrap this up and do this quick for you. So we have the 1099 miscellaneous. That's all I needed. We're going to do this quick. And you can just add to cart. You can go and you can see, you know, view cart. You can see how many they are. There is so many forms, people don't even realize that. And I'm like, wow, you really don't need to, you know, technically pay someone if you have the patience to read. Or, you know, you can, you know, pay for coaching or get, you know, help filling out the forms. But, you know, an actual ta tax professional, like going to H&R Block and all that, I used to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And, you know, they didn't do anything special. Now that I review, I still have some of the ones that they filled out so i kind of see what they did what needs to be filled out you know you learn and i'm like wow i could have just did this myself by printing out some forms that's crazy so i'll ask you to enter the shipping address this is for people too 
I didn't know you can, yes, um, order your own IRS forms right online, guys. It's not going to cost you anything. You shouldn't pay anybody for the forms itself. You know, very easy. Just, you know, you need a little patience. So I'm going to put my my brands or my YouTube channel because I do have an EIN for that. And if you want to send me anything, someone asked me, is it first and last name? Um, somebody asked me, let me just put the dash. If I take money orders for my templates and my packages, and I'm like, yes, of course. Um, just send it to post office box. If you, you know, are not computer savvy, you can just send me a request or email me a request of what you need. I'll try to put it in the description below my email. And that's totally fine. So post office box 4345 you can put in right in there dear dash the town right now that it's going to fall riviera as they call it fall river massachusetts all right do i have the four digit i don't have that with me i think it's 0145 that doesn't you don't need that so the following error address is required to continue so do they need um maybe that's strange that is strange my friend oh that's why what am i doing put it in the wrong box that's what i did i'm like i did this before so i'll just put it in all caps here I'm sorry about that, guys. Of course, I went to bed late because I work second shift, basically. And I get up early because that's just how we roll around here. So that should be correct. So you just put in the address you want it to go. It is going to um, review your order and you just put place order. And I'll say thank you for ordering from the IRS. Your order was successfully submitted and received. And if you want to print, you know, and so if you have like some type of receipt, that's fine. We can print since I finally have ink. So yeah, I don't know what's up with this damn camera, guys. It's crazy. You see what it's doing? I know. That's weird. About now, it's turning blue. That's strange, guys. I don't know. So, yeah. So, you'll just print that out um, if you feel the need. Um, w8 Benz, you can just print it out right online. I don't think it's something you have to order. It's pretty much here. Even though they do have it, it's a form W8 Ben. You can go into it sometime, but it's something that you can just print out online. But I know some people, too, don't have, um, you know, a home computer. They do a lot of things on their phone or don't have a printer. I mean, it does cost a lot. These cartridges are literally 60 each. And I already need to get another one. It's crazy. I just got black and now magenta. Oh, that's how it is, guys. There's always a lot of expenses. And, um, you know, I give a lot if people need it, too. I wanted to show you some... Of what I have but it's probably gonna be I don't want to make this video too long if you guys need like templates I have it in my folder here it's like a zip file guys of like so many and I have like lectures if you need past Gene Keaton um information like classic stuff so I'm making a folder I call it like true north school because I have like a true north set up as well. So I have so much A for V if you need it. Um, I call this one a master toolkit. So there is a lot here. And I have the 1099 examples. So it's going to be kind of like the same idea with the miscellaneous. The miscellaneous would be like everything that you ever purchased over $600. So say you spent $600 at, you know, Walmart 
uh, for the calendar year, you can, you know, report that, that way, um, you know, that way the corporations are paying on the taxes because they try to pass the buck as they always do to the consumer and they get away with not paying any of the taxes and the taxes are for the corporations to pay, right? Not so-called the living, breathing people. But yeah, you know, we are classified as such as corporations not realizing that. And so a lot of people are learning to take control or to collapse um, the ends legis or so-called straw man and put it into another trust. And even in these files here, I have um, the UCC process. A lot of people are so shook with that. There's nothing to be shook with that. You are forming your own entity, your own trust entity, and that's placing a lien on it, you know, removing the power away from the you know the dead jurisdiction which how they you know presumed everyone dead with that dying without a will what happens it reverts to the state etc etc so anytime you register something it becomes property of the state right so um you know if you want to start small look up this type of stuff meet your straw man there is a youtube video as well um, I meant to go on YouTube to show you guys that. To get started, I was trying to explain that to people also at work. You know, I don't, I only give like little breadcrumbs because work is not the place for this type of topic. But if they're interested, like, like I said, I'm going to purchase some more Meet Your Straw Man books and pass them out to people to get started. You know, it'd be like my small contribution for my charity. So, of course, what do they do? Suppress the video? They have, um, this is a, a great one too. I guess they suppressed it, guys. That is, oh, right here. It's this animated short. Okay, guys. Meet your short man. It looks like this. It almost looks like, you know, a vintage cartoon. That's how you can tell it's the one. But it's getting suppressed more and more, it seems like. i got to sign in. I'm not signing in. Is this the wrong one? Why did it go here? Right here. Infomatic Films by Infomatic Films. See how it has, like, the straw man or the scarecrow, like, Wizard of Oz. Right, um, it'll go into you know what happened since your birth and what the meaning of registration means, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is great for people who are just waking up to this. This it was you know um, a well-made little short, um, only four minutes long, to kind of get people like scratching their head and once they start seeing more and more connotations. But again, it's only for those with the eyes to see. This is a hot topic. So I only go into it sparingly, but I do like to come on and let you guys know here and there, like, hey, I have this for you guys. Just shoot me an email, okay? Dia Dash 07 at protonmail.com. That's the email I use also for PayPal. And this is a very extensive packet. I mean, when I first came into it, people were so ridiculous, charging all kinds. And so I'm literally charging like 30% of what I paid for and I've been allocating for years and cross-reference and I'm actually going to update a lot of my stuff as well too. So I'm so glad I got my ink in and, you know, doing what I do. If you have a hard time getting some of these forms um, and you get a packet from me, I'll send it off to you for free. Like I have no problem, you know, sending you a packet, you know, printing a bunch out. You know, we'll go into different forms you can send to your employer, like the W-8-BEN. Uh, some people talk about the W-4-T exemption form to be exempted from certain taxes being taken out because it is your right to earn a living. That shouldn't be taxed. That was already decided in different Supreme Court cases, which I have written down. You always want to cite case law whenever you can. And that will just back up a lot of the law, you know, the commercial laws that we're using as well. 
So thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Sorry this thing is glitchy. Hopefully you can still hear me and that it didn't just mute out as well. I got to check my equipment. Hit me up if you need those things and um, have a great day, guys.